Hey guys, Synergy here, and I'm bringing you a brand new video. This one's going to be Capture the Flag for you guys, and it's yet another flawless gameplay. So we're going to get into this as well. You can see we are in a party. We're just having fun with a bit of friends at the minute. Um, what we're doing is we're playing Capture the Flag, but we're actually letting the G9s get the flag caps as much as possible. Because the G9s, as you know, one of their challenges is to get the MVP. So what we're going to do is we're going to help them out with that. And we're just going to offer them a bit of support as well. And... And while having fun, if possible. Okay, so basically on this particular type of map, what you'll find on the capture point is they will be hid in the corners, usually 99% of the time. Or sometimes, if they're a little bit smarter, they'll be on the roof side where the openings to the windows are and stuff like that. Um, if they know exactly how to hide, like for example, you see Connor get taken out like that, for example. Um, but what you need to do is you always need to check your corners first, get the flag, get on the titan, and boom. Simple as that. Right, so all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go on a little bit of a killing spree. I'm going to kill them as much as I can in their spawn without my titan getting taken out, hopefully. Now obviously I've got the electric smoke just in case somebody does cloak and rodeo me. And then obviously I'll use a quick escape on that one. So you can see we've got two titans now. And um, we're going to let Connor have a second stab at it. But he's not going to jump onto my titan. He's going to jump onto chicken run. Because chicken's using the strider. And the strider's a lot faster than the ogre. There we go. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out any pilots that are thinking of attacking him. And just provide a bit of cover. So there we go. We get a triple kill there. Okay. So we've got more pilots around here, but we're not too worried about them. We're worried about the ones that are actually chasing the flag carrier. So there we go, we get the first flag cap. In this game, you're basically going to see them make it a little bit more difficult. So the flag caps are going to be a little bit slower for you guys. So they'll give us a real good game as well. It's a nice feel to the game, a um, little bit competitive. going to take off that one. We've got the damage core online, which suggests that I might actually be in an atlas. Yes, I am in an atlas. Man, that was stupid of me. Okay, so you can see me take out the human pilot that was attacking him there. And they've actually got our flag while Chicken Run's just escorting him to the flag cap. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to follow this kill. I know there's two to my left hand side. I'm not too worried about them at the minute. There we go, we'll take out that one, and here we go, oh, that cluster missile him, and we'll go for the return, but Pure Ghost ends up returning it before we even get there, so we're just going to re-embark in our Titan, which is now unfortunately being shot via the charge rifle on the ground, so there you go, Dome Shield saved me ass there. Got a rodeo attack, so we're just going to move back into the smoke and the Dome Shield. There you go, that'll pick up the human kill there. Now what these guys are doing is they're actually going towards our base a lot and what they're doing is they're hanging out in the base. So when they do that you just need to not take the flag in too hastily, just get them to clear it out and simple as that. So he's now got the flag, can he get it? No. There's another pilot there who's trying to escape. Connor's the one chasing him down, he's just returned it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place a cluster in there just in case he's got anyone following him and unfortunately we end up with the Titans on us. Now this Titan does have the upper advantage on me because they're in Strider and they've also got a Plasma aiming at me as well. So all I'm doing here is I'm just backing off, trying to get some support but unfortunately the support is all on the other side of the map. So it's not going to be as easy for me to survive, but all I need to do is survive as long as I possibly can against these two titans. I know what they're doing at the minute is the flanking me. You can see we just got a cluster missile kill on one of their pilots as well. This is where my titan gets taken out. We're forced to disembark, but what we're going to do? Double art grenade. Going to try and follow him, see if we can get on the rodeo. He's being smart about it. There we go, we're on the rodeo. And it's already half time. Right, so we are moving into the next round now, guys. 
can see the burn cars that I've got. I have got an absolute shed load of satellite uplinks. So I thought I might as well use them. Right, so this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the double zip line just to get on the back side of them. Hopefully nobody will see me while I do it. You can see the pilot right there. We'll take him out as we zip line it across. And this time we're going to play their game. So what I'm going to basically do here is wait for any flag cappers and we're just going to take out some pilots at range. Obviously I'm giving away my position because I'm not using the silencer, I don't like using the silencer when it's captured the flag. If somebody wants to come and challenge me, let them, uh, simple as that. Okay, so I'm just going to move into this area now because Scope Tipman has the flag. And I'm just going to support him from behind. Just going to make sure no one's following him. In other words, I'm effectively bait. Ah, I just returned the flag. That pilot came out of nowhere, but we'll take him out anyway. Touche, well played to the pilot. You can see we got two in the centre of the map right here. I'm just going to aim down the site and just take him out there. He was already aiming back at me. Luckily he missed that shot. As a grunt. Nice little spot for you if you are going the left hand side because that spot will allow you to take out any pilots that are following the flag capper. Okay so we got our Titan in 15 seconds and you can see the flag's just been captured by Connor again. And the Titan is prepped for launch. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to embark on our Titan now. You can see Flawless 16 for 0 at the minute. We've got 4 minutes and odd to go. Oh, Human Pilot will take him out. What we're going to do is we're going to go on the inside and just support Hitman. Give him the option of my Titan. Fortunately he is being attacked as the pilot. Oh, we missed him, we missed him. There we go, we got him with the cluster missile and pick up that kill. Uh, grunts on the outside. Unfortunately, Sculpt Hitman's been taken out. Right, so we got the flag. Connor's just come over here. I'm going to cluster at the flag there and pick up the kill. Had a feeling he was going to go for the return, and that's how we picked up that kill. Okay, with the charger I pulled there, we'll take him out. Okay, now they've got their Titans into play as well, so what we're going to do is we're going to focus our attention towards them. We've got Pure Cloud right behind them in the Titan as well. So I'm just going to knock off the damage on the one that's damaged most, and then we're going to knock off the damage on the second one. So we've got a lot of Titans just on the one at the minute. Now he's actually coming towards me here, but we've got a pilot on the ground, we're going to take the pilot out first. And now we're going to move on to this guy who's decided to nuke eject even though he's got most of his health. I would have just waited it out for a bit. Alright. And it's basically a team game guys, it's just one of those, we're helping out the G9s to get their MVPs as fast as they possibly can so they can rank up and be level gen 10. Don't forget if you do like my videos to drop a subscribe, hit that box. Now Spectrus can be pretty damn annoying towards your Titan as well, so they will actually take a lot of shields down in gradual moderation. It's not fast, but it does damage you at the end of it. You can see we've got a Titan over here as well, and ah crap, it's a Strider. 
so I want to get away from this strider as much as possible. Hopefully someone's going to come and help me out here because strider has the upper advantage on the ogre. We're just going to look at that pilot right there, you can see. Strider's just done major damage to me, so he's playing well, he's playing well. Obviously my titan's going to get taken out here eventually. Now I've got some support, and there we go, we're going to add that support straight back onto that Strider. And he's going to get taken out. Very shortly. Okay, so we're just moving on to the Yvac ship at the minute, you can see a 6-0, flawless. And you'll also see a flawless killing spree as well, so there's one kill to add on. And I don't think we get any more. Okay, so we're going to cluster the ship. That picks up another kill, so that's two. And there's another kill, that's three. And chicken picks up the last two. So three kills onto whatever the score is at the end. Just gonna spin round. There you go, 21, 234, 24. Alright guys, peace out.